हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सिग्मा ट्रॉपिक शिफ्ट और सिग्मा ट्रॉपिक रिएक्शन इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक देर आर सेवरल टाइप्स ऑफ सिग्मा ट्रॉपिक शिफ्ट बट इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल फोकस ओनली ऑन वन एंड सिग्मा ट्रॉपिक शिफ्ट वी विल डिस्कस द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स जनरल इंट्रोडक्शन सुप्रा एंड एंटारफेसियल माइग्रेशन rules governing 13 h shift and 13 c shift rules governing 15 h shift and 15 c shift and rules governing 17 h shift and 17 c shift in a sigma tropic shift a group migrates with its sigma bond within a pi framework like ene or polyene the migration is accompanied by a shift in pi bonds suppose we have a system like this where m is equal to 1 2 3 4 etc during a sigma tropic shift group g with its sigma bond will migrate to this carbon and this migration will be accompanied by shifting up pi bonds to generate rearranged product in this lecture we will focus only on 1n sigma tropic shift the numbers in the bracket have special meanings the left side number which is 1 in this case suggests that the group is bonded through the same atom in the reactant and the product the right side number which is n suggests that the number of carbon atom of the pi framework to which group g is migrating n can be 3 5 7 etc and g can be hydrogen carbon or other atoms based on whether the migrating atom is hydrogen or carbon and n is 3 5 or 7 one n sigma tropic shift can be classified as 1 3 h shift 1 3 c shift 1 5 h shift 1 5 c shift 1 7 h shift 1 7 c shift etc now we will discuss two terms suprafacial and antarafacial migration suppose we have a system that can undergo sigma tropic shift the symmetry of the terminal orbitals is like this and here is the migrating group there are two faces of the pi system top face and bottom face here the group is on the top face if we allow it to migrate it will migrate to the right lobe keeping it on the top face this type of migration in which a group migrates on the same face of the pi bond is called suprafacial migration let's have a different case in which the symmetry of the terminal orbitals is like this the migrating group is on the top face if we allow it to migrate it will migrate to the right lobe on the bottom face like this this type of migration in which a group changes the face during the migration from one terminus to other is called antarafacial migration let's first discuss 13h shift according to the definition in 13h shift a proton should migrate to the third carbon from the carbon of its attachment in an allylic system for the discussion about under which condition which type of migration is allowed let's take the example of simplest system which is propene even though it is a pericyclic reaction it is assumed that it is proceeding through allylic radical for the purpose of easier explanation under thermal condition the homo of allylic radical has c2 symmetry like this here i am not going to discuss how to draw the structure of homo as i have uploaded a separate lecture on this topic 
the link for the same is given in the description here this is the hydrogen we can clearly see that it will opt entire vessel migration through this transition state this transition state is so strained to be formed and therefore 13H shift is thermally not allowed under photochemical condition the homo will have the symmetry like this means it will have sigma plane and will not have C2 symmetry here is the hydrogen atom we can see that it will opt suprafessal migration through this transition state because of a smaller size of the hydrogen atom it cannot bind simultaneously to overlap with the two p orbitals so we can summarize under thermal condition 13 h shift is antarafacial and not feasible while under photochemical condition it is suprafacial and also not feasible 13 carbon shift according to the definition in 13 carbon shift a group migrates to the third carbon from the carbon of its attachment for the discussion under which condition which type of migration is allowed let's take the example of a hypothetical propene derivative in this case too we will assume that it is proceeding through allylic radical under thermal condition the homo of allylic radical has c2 symmetry like this here is alkyl group in this case despite c2 symmetry of homo of pi framework alkyl group can migrate suprafacially to generate this transition state because the p orbital of the carbon due to the presence of two lobes can overlap with the orbital lobes of both the termini of pi framework simultaneously this transition state will collapse into product with the inversion in configuration of the migrating group under photochemical condition the homo of allylic radical will have symmetry like this means it will have sigma plane and will not have c2 here is alkyl group we can see that in this case too it can opt suprafacial migration to generate this transition state in which one lobe of the p orbital of the migrating carbon overlaps with the orbital lobes of both the termini of pi framework simultaneously this transition state will collapse into product that has retention in the configuration of the migrating group so we can summarize under thermal condition 13 carbon shift it is suprafacial and feasible with the inversion in configuration of the migrating group while under photochemical condition it is suprafacial again and it is feasible but with the retention in the configuration of the migrating group 15h shift in 15h shift a proton should migrate to the fifth carbon from the carbon of its attachment in a pentadiene system for the discussion about under which condition which type of migration is allowed let's take the example of the simplest system which is 13 pentadiene let's assume that it is proceeding through 13 pentadienyl radical under thermal condition the homo of the pentadiene radical has plane of symmetry like this here is hydrogen we can see that it will opt suprafacial migration through this transition state unlike transition state of 13h shift 
this transition state is stable and therefore 1,5 H shift is thermally allowed. Under photochemical condition, the HOMO is C2 symmetric like this. Here is hydrogen. We can see that it will opt interfacial migration through this transition state. This transition state is very strained. Therefore, 1,5 H shift is photochemically not allowed. So, we can summarize under, th under thermal condition 1,5 H shift is superficial and feasible while under photochemical condition it is interfacial and not feasible. 1,5 carbon shift. In 1,5 carbon shift a carbon migrates to the fifth carbon from the carbon of its attachment. Let's take the example of a hypothetical diene. Assume that it is proceeding through the pentadiene radical. Under thermal condition, the homo of this pentadiene radical has plane of symmetry like this. Here, this is alkyl group. We can see that alkyl group can migrate superficially to generate this transition state in which one lobe of the p orbital of the carbon overlaps with the orbital lobes of both the termini of pi bond framework simultaneously. This transition state will collapse into product with the retention in configuration of the migrating group. Under photochemical condition, the homo of the radical will be C2 symmetric like this. Here is alkyl group. We can see that in this case too, it can opt superficial migration to generate this transition state in which two lobes of the p orbital of migrating carbon overlaps with the orbital lobes of both the termini of pi bond framework. This transition state will collapse into product that has the inversion in the configuration of the migrating group. So, we can summarize under thermal condition 1,5 carbon shift is superficial, feasible with the retention in the configuration of the migrating group while under photochemical condition it is superficial and feasible but with the inversion in the configuration of the migrating group. 1,7 H shift and 1,7 C shift. We can derive the rules for 1,7 H shift and 1,7 C shift similar to the way we discussed for 1,3 shift. I will not go into details, rather I would summarize the facts only. In 1,7 H shift under thermal condition it is antarafacial but possible because of flexibility of the system. Under photochemical condition, it is superficial and feasible. If we talk about 1,7 C shift, under thermal condition, it is superficial and feasible with the inversion in the configuration of the migrating group. While under photochemical condition, it is superficial and feasible with the retention in configuration. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much.